Hello, it's Maiden Blender here, and today we're going to be doing a hair simulation with how to use weight paints. Okay, open up a general file, delete the default cube, and create a plane. Scale it up a bit. Okay, that looks good. Now, we want to add a particle system down here in the particles tab. Press the tab and hair. As you can see, just randomly generated. But we want to go down to vertex groups. Press density. As you see, there's nothing there. That's what we're going to change. Go to white paint. Oh, but first, you need to go to edit mode. Subdivide this. I'm going to, and then go down here. I'm going to subdivide it by 100. Okay, that looks good. Now, white paint. Now, if you press like that, density, select group. Now, that's the only spot where the hair is. Put the strength down. You can also add the length. and clump and kink no. you can just adjust everything to your needs so you just go whoo. but this is not what I was going to show you I was going to show you how to create a grassy field so I have go back to object mode, the add-on called Sketchfab. You can go and download this from GitHub, the Sketchfab thing, and just type in grass and enter. Tap here, and I'm just going to press clump of tuft of grass, and then import model. takes a few seconds to load in and sometimes it crashes but once it's imported it will become all good again okay imported with the hair emitter just put that down to speed up your um, viewport you can adjust it a bit later then tuft of grass select it and it's really small at the moment so Scale it up. Go to texture. You can see that it's already textured. Now, on the particle emitter, oh, you want to select this, the plane, number, go for 50, and then render. Instead of path, object. Instance object, eyedropper for that. And then you want to scale it up to how big you want it to be. Move this off to the side. And now, if you go to camera mode, you can add a bit of scale randomness. And the rotation, um, you want to adjust that so that it does not um, go everywhere. So, click advanced, add vapor rotation, and then object X. Then this will align it properly. Back to camera mode. And now, if you go to weight paint again, Select, select the object, go to the white paint, and then undo those. Ah, oh, you can just start painting the grass. And then 
you can change the camera by going to an angle that you want and then press Control, Alt, and then zero, numpad zero. Scroll out a bit, control out zero. So I probably want to go in a bit closer. Control out zero. Old. Okay. Now go back to object mode and to texture the ground. All you need to do. New. Okay, now drag this across, press and to disable the tab, and then go to Shader Editor. Okay, now, off normal, you want to add a bump. Off height, you want to add a noise. And then, base color. You want a color RAM. Okay, plug them in. And now, all you need to do is to click that side, adjust that to a sort of dark brown, and go to this side, adjust that to a bit lighter, and then go to brown. And under here, I like putting my detail up to about um, 30. And then distortion up to about 1. Scale add to about 9. Roughness I put about, I'd say about uh, 0 0.72. And then you can put down the shine and then up the roughness. And now you've got a basic landscape. All but to actually make it light, I'd put that at a 3. Then said rendered. Go to camera mode. And I use cycles. There. There is the finished way. Um, and if you like the video, please like the video and subscribe. Um, check out my Patreon in the links below. And thank you for watching. Bye.